Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thanks for joining us. My name is Amy and I do love free fashion videos as well as vlogs. Today, I wanted to share my first impression review of the Gabrielle bags. These are very similar to the leather material here at the bottom of the base. Around the top of the bag, there is piping and that is also a similar material and texture to the base. There's also a zip pull which uses uh, a harder leather as well, which is again similar to the base leather. Um, and then here, where the opening is, you will see this soft leather here. So this soft leather here, I would say, is similar to the harder leather, except that it's not as shiny. So. I don't know if you can tell from the camera there is definitely the the stress calf skin which is more of a matte sheen this is more of a shiny sheen this piping here is more of a shiny sheen as well the interior is a fabric lining in the red color which i really really like uh, in terms of what's inside is actually pretty straightforward there is a piece of leather that's attached to the side of the bag where there's a like like a little clip here that you can hook things on and then on the inside um, it's pretty much one big compartment but you've also got one pocket here on one side with a lipstick little holder and then on the other side is where the Chanel made in Italy tag is and there is a zip pocket and the zip pocket is not very uh, deep it's just deep enough for a card. You've also got the leather tag where the serial number is on the same side where that leather piece is attached. It's kind of hard to show you that but um, anyway if you can even see this is how the interior looks. That's the one side with the uh, zip pocket and then that's the other side with the slip pocket and the holder. The hardware on this bag is multicolored. So they do a bunch of mixed metals. You have the matte aged gold on the CC here on the leather pull. You've got the ruthenium on the leather piece here. You've got uh, just normal shiny gold on the actual zipper. And then you've got also ruthenium here and aged gold here. And then throughout the strap, it's basically a mix of shiny gold, ruthenium, uh, shiny silver. I don't see aged gold on the actual strap. So it's basically a mixed metal strap. And then here on the leather, uh, on the leather piece here, which is the leather break for your shoulder, uh, you've got also a H gold and H silver little button. There is one, two, three, four, and five settings on the shoulder strap. However, I don't know if I'll ever really move them. I know that if you really wanted to, you, you can. I know that it's possible, but it's just very, very difficult. But that's only going to basically give you an extra three inch overall. But when you double it up, it's pretty much half of that, right? Because anytime you double up a strap, um, then you divide the the amount by two. So you're really only gonna get maybe an inch to an inch and a half extra by changing it around. And by changing it around, um, the only thing that I can see that maybe by sort of changing it around by moving the strap over a little bit is that there this dangling piece will be less apparent. So your little um, piece here will sit here instead. So in terms of price, of, of obviously it's going to vary between material and also season and also just like, you know, if you're buying the most basic model or if you're buying uh, other types of leather such as exotic leather. Uh, so I bought the most basic model which is uh, 41.50 plus 12% tax here in BC. Uh, it can go up from here. So I know there's a goat skin version that has kind of like a patent uh, goat skin here which is smoother. Uh, that one's like 4600 and then um, I'm sure if they come up with more exotic skins then of course the price will go up from there. Let's talk about some pros of this bag before I get into the modeling shots and also what can fit in it. Um, definitely the chain is definitely a pro for this bag. 
if you love this bag you would know exactly what i mean because there's just so many ways you can style this bag just by changing this, the chains around and even if you don't change the, the chains around which i don't i only have really like three ways i like to wear this bag i just think that the chain details is is the main focus and is the main reason why some people might love this bag so much because it looks just so good wearing it it, it looks so I, I don't want to use the same words but it basically is it's so edgy it's kind of different and it it's something that you know chanel hasn't done in the past and the fact that they've decided to put multicolor material as well as just like um well, there's basically two chains, but since you were doubling it up when you wear it, it gives you the illusion that you have four chains and it, it's just so beautiful. The chain detail is just so amazing and that's definitely one of the pros of this bag. Another pro is that I think that this bag is very versatile. I think that you can wear this bag super dressy, like in a really nice sort of evening dress or even an evening gown, I think it, work, it can work. Um, just because it the style lends to its versatility in my opinion because of uh, the chains definitely make it more dressy however it can be super casual as well I can definitely see and I know you can just wear a t-shirt and like a pair of short jeans and still wear this and look super good another pro for this bag pertains to its size with the small size you can actually wear it uh, in the evening so I feel like if you went any size bigger than this, it's kind of like a clunky bag. It becomes slightly more casual, so it's also less versatile because of that reason. So I do definitely think that the small size has its advantage for that reason. I also think that because it's smaller, that the chances of um, sort of damaging it or the chances of more of the wear and tear the constant wear and tear wear and tear is slightly smaller just because it is smaller you can sort of you know i don't know you can protect it a little bit better if you're one of those people who care about you know <laughs> the wear and tear of your bags and trying to minimize that you can easily just swing it in the front of you the other pro is that even though this is a small size it does fit a little bit more than your typical mini bags i still consider this to be a mini bag because it, it, it is small and the actual you know how much you can fit in it is like not that much but it still fits a little bit more than your typical rectangle mini or square mini like i said and so that in itself is kind of an advantage because sometimes i really want to wear my mini bags but i just want to put that one extra thing and it doesn't fit it another pro is that even though these chains look really skinny and there's a lot of it i do still think that in general the bag in itself even with full content design, uh, it feels quite comfortable on the shoulder. Um, I mean, it's not going to be as comfortable as your thick leather strap bags uh, or your thick leather strap shoulder bag. Uh, obviously, it's going to be slightly different. But the fact that it has so much going on and it's still fine, like I, I didn't feel particular pain wearing it even though I fill it up. I feel like, I don't know, they've done a really good job. Uh, perhaps there is... Perhaps the number has to do with it, like maybe one chain will be quite painful but if you put four of them together plus a leather piece, then it kind of distributes the weight quite well. So I actually think that the shoulder strap is semi-comfortable. And the last pro that I can think about, I'm not like 100% sure yet but I'm thinking that it could be a good travel option when i travel i definitely want to bring at least one bag that i i know that i can sort of trash not like literally but that i don't have to worry constantly about wear and tear and whether i bump into people and things but i also want to bring another bag that is more dressy that i can take out in the evening or that i just want to wear because i want to dress up and i think that this is one of the better options only because the size in itself actually can fit slightly more than your typical mini bag like i said before and also uh like i said the versatility of this bag does lend itself like even if i decide to just wear a t-shirt and jean i can wear this bag but if i want to dress up for the evening i can also wear this and because there's so many ways to style with this chain it's just so much fun to um to be able to do that um 
I think typically when I travel, I also like to take photographs because you know you've got the scenery already so why not take more photographs and the fact that I can style my outfits and the environment around me with a beautiful bag I think that's kind of a plus so I mean that's just my opinion but how many of you agree with me on that? About the cons, yes there are lots of them too. The most obvious one is the base because it is this very hard base with a smooth leather it's prone to scratching I know that it's a matter of time so if you don't want to trash your bag you definitely need to be more careful wearing this bag and just be more self-conscious of you know your surroundings and, su and such and that's definitely one of the main cons of this bag if not for this I think this bag is actually pretty nice and pretty perfect in its way the second con which is one of the main ones as well is the zip opening especially if you get it in a smaller size because the smaller your bag <laughs> the smaller your zip opening and you know this is pretty much big enough to put your hand in it um, if you pry it open now because there's nothing in it it looks like it's pretty easy but once you fill up the bag taking things out is actually not too bad but putting things back in and trying to reorganize it that's where I get a little annoyed because sometimes you want to be in a hurry and you can't really do that so you kind of have to consciously just like know that you have to reorganize it and take a little bit of time doing that however because this bag is smaller um, I mean you can't fit that much more in it it's okay in a sense that you know it'll still be really easy to find your things because you're only gonna have few things in it and so it's really just the putting things back in that kind of annoys me a little bit sometimes and I was aware of that when I bought it. For small things, maybe it's not such a big deal because for smaller items, it's it's easier to get things in and out. But for larger items, such as if you're trying to fit a really large phone in it, and we all know I have a humongous phone, you know, and then the camera, those two things alone is just the most, you know, I don't want to scratch those things and I'm trying to be careful. Also because it is a small bag, I feel like this piece of leather is is useless. I feel like this piece, you know, the extension where you can clip onto something else is very useful when you have a larger bag. So if you're going for the medium or the large size, I think this this piece is awesome. But because this bag is so small, this actually gets in the way. So this is actually a con for me. Even though it's there, I'm not going to cut it off, obviously, because I'm never going to do that to a Chanel bag, and I don't like modifying my bags. It's just in the way. So what I end up doing is I always tuck it into the pocket. I don't know if you guys can see. I always tuck it in there. So it does take up space on in the pocket as well, but what can I do? That's the only place where I feel like it's not going to you know, get in the way of my other things in the main compartment. The other con of this bag is the chain length. Um, I'm quite petite so I actually love the chain length and I love how I can play with it and wear it different ways even though like I said I really only have three ways where I like wearing this bag but for anybody who is significantly taller or have a different body shape they'll find that they can't really take advantage of all these other ways of wearing it such as maybe like the V shape or like the cross body shape unless you wear it with only like without doubling it up which is super duper long, which is unreasonable in my opinion. So the ch the fact that the chain is not that adjustable, I mean, you can adjust it, but like I said, it's kind of not really. There is only really five settings and it doesn't really give you that much more extra. So that might be a con for some people. The other disadvantage of the Gabriel bag in general is that um, if you want to keep your bag pristine, which is something that I do, you've got to be careful at storing this bag. You've got to be careful in general anyway if you want to keep all your things in good condition. But many of my bags, I really don't worry. I just put them on the shelf without particularly playing with the chains and you know making sure that they're you know in a certain position or whatever. With this bag, you can't. You have to store it properly. You definitely don't want your chains to dent or to make surface um, surface nicks on on the on the bottom of the leather. You definitely don't want to put all the weight of the chain on top of your bag because then it will just make your bag sag even more or prematurely. And um, 
in general the the bottom you don't want to sit it just anywhere you definitely want to protect the bottom so that it doesn't touch other things so storage is definitely a hassle by the way this is how i've been storing it at the last few days so um i just sit it upright on the shelf with the dust bag uh, on the bottom so that it protects the leather since it's so easy to scratch and then uh the piece of felt that came with it i just sort of put it on roughly uh like this so as you can see, if I remove my original dust bag, I would probably put the bag in the dust bag if I wasn't using the bag often. But since I'm using it, I didn't really want to put it in and out of the dust bag every time. Anyway, I just put the chains inside another dust bag. If you don't want your bag to have wear and tear prematurely, you, you cannot be carefree with this bag. It's just impossible. Obviously, I know that everyone's different and some people feel that they don't baby their bags and it still looks fine But I think that's just like a personal thing. Some people don't see small nicks as a wear and tear or as a big issue um, I'm kind of like in the middle. I I'd rather my bags look brand new But I'm not gonna cry if it get, does get wear and tear because I know it's just a matter of time and especially with this bag Another con is that even though I feel like this bag is not particularly heavy It does have some weight to it Obviously because there's so much going on with all the chains with the solid base and you know it, it, It's quite substantial in terms of material even though the interior is just fabric it, it does have some weight to it and i feel like when you do fill it up with heavier things like i do it does get heavy and with the chain being semi-comfortable it could potentially become uncomfortable if you really really fill up your bag and i'm thinking especially if you go with the larger size it would be quite heavy last but not least um I don't know if it's a con yet, but for now, I don't know if this bag will keep its value in the long term. Obviously, it's too soon to tell. I definitely think that it's a cool bag though, and I definitely have not been as excited for a long time about something new. But in general, I feel like if you're looking to keep value because you think that Chanel is one of those big three, maybe think twice because this this bag is still kind of new too new to tell in the long run um obviously if you want to be safe you want to buy black because black always keeps its value more but um yeah if you're concerned about you know things keeping their value maybe think twice about buying this bag first I know that there are some people who find the chain easy to get tangled and find that this is a con I don't particularly find it to be a huge problem. I'm not sure if it's because of the size or maybe I just haven't really encountered it. I kind of feel like playing with the chain is kind of therapeutic. I don't actually mind detangling it at all. So anyway, so like I said, there's a million ways to, to kind of style this bag, but there's only really a few that I love. The main one is just the normal way. So just wearing it like that is uh one of my favorite ways to wear it i think this is the like a really good shoulder length by the way i'm wearing a zara blazer as a dress the other reason why i really love just wearing it the normal way is because you can really see all the chains and it just looks very sophisticated and simple but at the same time it looks edgy i just love this way this way is also one of my favorites and it just looks like this I know that it's not for everybody, but for me, I feel that because of my petite frame and also I'm not like super tall, I, I really love the look of this way. Um, especially with this way, you see all the chains in front of you and on the back of you and also on the side. It just looks super cute in my opinion and super edgy. Uh, you can also bring the bag in front of you and it doesn't budge, it won't just fall off or anything or the back if you prefer if you don't want to, you know, obstruct your arm movement but typically I love wearing this way when I want to be hands-free and I don't want to worry about my bag falling I do tend to wear a lot of black even though I do wear colors as well I also wear a lot of neutrals but I feel like especially because this bag is so interesting in its own way with all the metal details that wearing black all black with this bag is is the most 
beautiful and like bomb way of wearing this bag and just to show you how long this bag is obviously this is not never going to be a way where i would wear it crossbody with the chain um, but just to show you how cool it is especially if you want to wear a monochrome outfit like an all black outfit or whatever and then you just dangle your bag like this the gucci runway is all about <laughs> the bag like super low i don't know if you, they did that on purpose just to show the bag but um you know this is this is an interesting way i'll never wear it this way but um it's just really cool anyway Another way that I really enjoy wearing, probably um, just as much as the V-way, is just crossbody. So it's obviously a shorter crossbody as you can see. But it's a really cute crossbody and as I said, because the style lends itself to its edginess, I feel like this really works. And yes, it is a higher crossbody but I really like it and I, I, I don't have a problem wearing super high crossbody because I think it's super cute so that's definitely a way that I also really enjoy like I said there's really only a few ways that I prefer wearing this bag I don't think that wearing it as a clutch with all the chains around your hands is that practical as well as just like around your waist I don't find those practical f at all for me but there is another way that I really enjoy wearing is to play with the chains actually and it is to sort of um, just twist it around a few times so I find that this way you kind of create your own sort of bejewel for your bag so just by twisting it a few way you can obviously do it higher or lower by just but just by doing that Obviously, you might have to twist it a few more times but because the bag is empty right now, it's not that heavy. But I do find that when your bag is very heavy and it's full of stuff that you need to twist it a few more times so that it doesn't keep on moving. But once you've, you're satisfied with how you've twisted your bag, then it just becomes such a nice decoration, like a very nice bejeweled detail on your bag. So this is definitely a way that I've also enjoyed uh, as I was experimenting with the chains and basically these are the main ways I don't really like any other ways because I find that it's really hard to get in and out otherwise typically I would always try to at least you know take my camera my vlogging camera I definitely need my keys wallet um, car key and then extra little things now I might not necessarily take a pouch with me only because it kind of doesn't fit that well so I might even take things individually out and then just put them inside the slip pockets in there but um, like I said the main things are definitely my phone which is this is humongous it's bigger than the iPhone plus so if you have an iPhone plus it definitely will fit keys so I'll put it there my car keys go in here for now the pocket here and I definitely need my camera so my camera will sit on this side I like to put it on the outside just because it's just easier to take in and out whereas with my keys I don't constantly need my keys I just need it once when I get out and once when I come home so that's that now I could also put my wallet inside but this is slightly bulky so whenever I use this bag I actually prefer using a card holder that way it won't take up just as much space and it won't just bulk up everything. I usually bring my uh, bag hanger, I take my lip balm, and I take some mints or medication. So I can sort of just slip these things in the side pockets as well. So let's just say that I do that and I put my lip balm here in this little lip holder thingy. So just to show you that glasses do fit but you do have to use a cloth bag. Like it does close and it closes easily actually with no not much struggle. You just have to know that you can't squish it. But it does fit and the bag looks like this when it's full. And because remember we had all the little small items here in the side pocket. So this side is slightly more bulgy like it has Kind of like a bump here but it doesn't look bad at all 
So in conclusion, do I recommend this bag? Or if you ask me, should I buy it, Amy? Then <sighs> my inclination is to say no. <laughs> and it sounds weird because, uh, you know, I, I'm only saying no because I feel like if you're having any doubt about this bag at all, then chances are you won't like it. That's just my opinion. I feel like if you have doubt because there are definitely lots of cons associated with this bag that I've mentioned, there might be even more that I haven't even encountered yet. Um, I just don't want you guys to, you know, have purchase remorse. <laughs> That's basically it. However, on the other hand, if you're someone who's already had lots of bags in your collection, you have all the classics, and um, you want something different, or if you're just someone in general who loves to experiment with fashion and who just loves to, you know, have something different, or if your style is slightly more quirky and edgy and different from most people, then I'd say yes, go for it because that's what the definition of this bag is in my opinion. I think that while it has its sort of uh, classic details, you know, the quilting and then the chains would intertwine with the leather. Um, other than that, everything else about this bag is new in a sense, like the design itself is is different enough to say that it's kind of innovative and different and edgy and interesting, you know, it's not for everyone but I think that if you're one of those people who likes to be different and who likes to be unique, then I say yes. I don't want to just say this is the best bag, go and buy it because it's obviously not but it's so different and it's so unique um, and it's something new and I really really love styling this bag so much. Uh, I just, for me, it's worth it. Especially because this is not one of those bags where YouTube made me buy it or Instagram made me buy it. It's not, like, obviously it did not help, but it's definitely one of those bags where I was already drawn to it by myself. I didn't have to call anybody asking them, should I buy it, should I buy it? I've got the black one right now in front of me. Like, I did not do that. I just went ahead and bought it once it was available. So, it's definitely my own choice and I definitely really wanted it myself and I think if you feel the same way then do it go for it because then I say it's the right bag for you to get I've come full circle with this bag ever since they've launched it I actually really fell in love with the whole concept and uh, I know that this bag is a, either a love or a hate relationship. For some people, they hated it at first and then they loved it once they saw it in person and once they tried it in person. But for me, it was totally different. I just loved it from the start. Ever since I saw Chanel come up with this bag last year, I was super intrigued. And I kind of am regretting it a little bit why I did not get it when I first had the opportunity to do so last year when they first came out. Having said that, I think that it was a good thing that I sort of, you know, waited a whole year and had to pay a little bit extra, but the reason is because when it first came out, I did not know what size I wanted. Um, there was obviously the medium size, which is one of the most popular size, and then the small size is like also a very popular size. I know you can even go bigger, but for my body frame, I was only going to consider either the medium or the small size. And then obviously there's also the backpack version. The disadvantage of the Chanel store here I find is that you kind of have to decide what you want to get even before you have the opportunity to compare and see it see things in person uh, so because I was sort of dead set at the beginning for a medium then obviously uh, all the small size were gone and when I tried on the medium I really thought it was too big on me so I sort of you know still wanted to get it but wasn't sure whether I, I was making a, the right decision so I kind of just said no to it and then you know, told myself I would just wait and maybe wait for the next batch when they get the small in. And then when they got the small in, they didn't have it in the color way that I wanted. I either wanted black or white, but my ideal color was just to get it in all black. So basically when they had the small size, uh, I was only able to try it in other colors, um, not in black, not in white. I, they had like the multicolor suede one, which was cute, but 
it wasn't something that I know I would wear uh, on a regular basis. So I like the size, but they didn't have it. They didn't have this specific one in stock. So I was kind of going crazy. I wanted to buy something from the Gabrielle line and I actually gave the backpack a shot because they actually had a brand new black one. The backpack for me was not practical at all. It definitely fits more than this. The opening was definitely larger than this so you would think that it's better but for me um, after you put your contents in it and I put heavy things in it. My phone and my camera alone is pretty heavy. I find that with the chain sliding it wasn't secure enough for me. The fact that you have to wear it on your back every time you have to bring your backpack towards the front of you to just open it and get things in and out. The keep, the chain keeps sliding on one side because the content of the bag is so heavy that it will just keep sliding. I hope it makes sense what I'm saying. Basically, I came full circle and uh, I knew that the small size was what I wanted. I knew I liked the style for sure, but I just didn't know what size was the best for me. and. Uh, you know, so I had to wait a full year to uh, wait until they get it in stock again. And luckily I was able to get it this time. That's pretty much the, the backstory of how I came about the siding, getting the small size. Not only do I think that the small size just looks cuter on my body frame, that's basically the main reason. I am strictly buying this bag because of the style and because I fell in love with the style. The best analogy I can give you is Think of my Celine trapeze uh, bag that I have. Those of you who have been following my channel or who has been around for a while know that this bag is part of my collection. Uh, if you want to see my whole bag collection video, I'll link it down below as well. This is also a bag that uh, a lot of us love and just a lot of us hate as well. It's kind of similar to how the Gabriel bag is. This bag is not the most practical in the world, even though I don't, I'm not particularly annoyed by how you have to get in and out of it because I have my ways to do it. Um, I obviously love this bag and decided to get it because I just love how edgy and how great it feels when I carry it and it's not the worst in terms of practicality. It's still good, uh, it's just not the best and it is definitely not my everyday bag. For me, this is more of a seasonal bag. So it's pretty much the same idea with the Gabrielle bag. I definitely did not buy it for its practicality. It's not necessarily going to be a seasonal bag because I think this bag you can wear all year round but it's definitely not an everyday bag. It's more a, a bag where I wear if I want to style in a certain way and also just a bag that I wanted to get and have in my collection just because I love the design of it and I love how it looks and I just think it's special in its own way. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed my first impression video of this. If you have any more questions pertaining to this bag, let me know down below. I'll try to answer you as soon as I can and uh, maybe even in my next Q&A. And yeah, I, like I said, I really love this bag. And like I said, I haven't been excited about something totally different and totally new and just just in, or just in general, it doesn't have to be new. I just haven't been that excited about a, 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 a specific bag for a while. And I feel like this year especially, or maybe I say it every year, but I feel like especially this year, there are a few bags where I'm just so excited about to get my hands on and yeah, you know, I'm trying to pace myself because I really want to enjoy this purchase before I get on to the next one. But sometimes it's a it's a matter of timing. Once they come, you have to get them because it's so scarce and it's so hard to get them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just yeah, I'm just really gonna be enjoying this bag a lot. I hope you guys found this first impression helpful. If you're wondering about this bag or if you're just curious. Or if you didn't like it, then maybe it solidified your reasons for not liking it. But if you were kind of like not sure but on the verge of really wanting it, then maybe it is still for you. You just might have to sort of be consciously accepting those cons and just um, just go with it, you know, like life is too short. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell because I I do try to post several times a week. Anyway, thanks so much and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.